half a year, six months. Started right up though. Filter and all, huh? Yeah. <laughs> this thing is so dirty. Paint actually held up nicely for being in the sun for six months. Brand new. Brand new again until you dry it. <laughs> uh, let's go uh, eat. You want to eat? Food break. Oh, Quota's back. His car fits right in. So we got both of the 240s in the garage. But unfortunately, Gabe, we're going to have to take your car out of the garage. Yeah, Coda's going to start painting the sore, so we got to make room now. What do I do about my car? Do I just leave it outside? And what do I do about all this stuff, Coda? I'm just going to put plastic over everything? Kind of like last time? If you don't want to get over sprayed, you better move. You better move. If you guys want, you can just drop tarps from the roof, section it. Yeah. You can do that. I would love to keep Gabe's car here. He's gonna take it home. We seriously need a bigger garage. I already hit up someone to make like a huge canopy here, but they're lagging. If you guys know anyone who can make a sick canopy for me, or like a, a metal top shed storage type, I don't know what you want to call it. I need something ASAP. So uh, go ahead and DM me on my Instagram because it's easier to respond on there. Let me know if you guys have anyone who can help me out with that. I kind of want to show the new viewers this thing. Probably the craziest 240 that you'll ever see. Gabe's had this thing for how long? Like 20 years? Uh, like 13 years. 13 years. This was his first 240. And uh, it's just fully crazy race car V-mount. Leaded gas, so bad for you. But yeah, this thing is doesn't have the kit on when it does have the kit even better but the fab work is just insane it was all built by force wing and getting that slab but the crazy fuel cell the get nuts stamp you can see the bash bar like runs through the car through here to the shock towers and it's fully boxed so he's you've hit pretty hard and yeah, I mean, this thing is got some damage. Got this thing's solid. It's still held up. Nothing it looks happen. so bad, but that's why we got over fenders. Never tell. Yeah, this thing is super cool. He's into it way too much money, but it's lasted you 13 years, right, Gabe? So four SRs later, <laughs> but it's fine. You live and learn. You do it right the first time, and you don't have to really touch it for you haven't touched this car in years dude yeah probably like don't go on four years without doing anything after animal auto rebuild don't even have to pop the hood anymore so there's really two two different routes you can take go extreme or super budget not caring if you crash it or you have to throw it away that's the route i went because after i crashed my first car i was so deep into it um it was pretty sad. So I was like, next build, I'm gonna build something that I can throw away if I mess it up. And this thing's actually been lasting me a pretty good time. So we'll see. It's gonna have a full new heart. So I'm excited for that.
we made some room for the sore. All right, guys, the day has come. I'm finally posting the Hako for sale. I didn't want to, but Koda is making me. <laughs> Japan is making me. I need some money right now. Could really use it. I'm trying to plan a Japan trip and figured I don't drive this one. I mean, I don't drive any of my cars to be honest, but I rather this go to a good home. It's just been sitting outside and I hate that. So I will be posting this up for sale. Check us out on uh, Baron's Garage. I'll tag us right here. You guys can hit us up on there. Serious inquires only, please don't waste my time. So we're gonna try and get this thing cleaned up so I can post it for sale. I'll have a full rundown of what all the mods is pretty much stock, but mileage and whatnot. I think it's like 35,000 original miles. Full detailed pictures and everything up on Baron's Garage soon. So let's get this thing cleaned. Shield's already pretty clean, but oh, I'm gonna pull it back, Coda. Gotta take my Baron's garage pictures now. Alright. Well, that thing's ready to go buyer's coming in a couple hours. I'm gonna go meet up the homie Darian. and he just bought these off me, so I gotta push these all the way up. Man, Coda just carried these wheels all the way up this hill. Holy, I'm tired. That was such a good idea, Coda. You're welcome. Oh. It's been a while since we hung out in the race van. Just when I come drive from? Can't say. Fontana. Fontana? Yeah. Wait, don't you live in like Vegas? Vegas? Cool. Thanks, I've buddy. I've been able to hold on to shit, so. <laughs> this is your guy. You guys want to buy cars? <laughs> you can buy all kinds of different cars from this guy. Auto sales. <laughs> I'll tag it. Auto sales. <laughs> I'll tag it right here. Dang, we should start going to auctions and getting cars. Regular cars? Yeah. I'm kind of, I'm kind of down for that. Are we in the wrong business right now? We could be selling American cars like that, making just as much money as these JDM cars that we've been dealing with. I don't know. I can respect the hustle though. Hit up Darian if you guys need uh, regular kind cars. He has all kinds of stuff. What now, Coda? What are we doing? Wait for the money and guy to show up. Yeah. So I know um, in the video I'm posting hit up Baron's Garage, but we already got a buyer for the Hako while I was editing the video. So it's already gonna be in the video. I'm sorry for everyone who paused the video to hit up Baron's Garage. The car is sold, hopefully it's sold. We couldn't believe it. This guy's really coming right now. Who has that kind of money? Yeah, I, I don't get it. He hit me up like five minutes after I posted it on Baron's Garage. And he's like, I'm on my way, bro. So bittersweet moment. But I'm stuck. What's next? Um, R34. Koda's gonna sell me his R34 for 55 grand. <laughs> well, things just got super real. Going to meet the guy right now. Uh, I don't know how I feel about this, guys. I don't know if I'm making the right decision, but they come and they go. I keep telling myself that. Start. Oh. Sad. Pretty sad.
let's go baby have the boys come for one last drive what do you think Gabe? Gabe's, Gabe's been telling me to just get rid of this car yeah the funny thing is Gabe and Coda they really don't care about this car <laughs> just I've, I've told Josh I found it I was like yo cop it but then you know you just you just get over it like no I'm not completely over it. I just could really use the money right now. So this is it. This is this is where it's we're like at. Harry Potter car. Yeah, they, they keep calling it the Harry Potter car. But I'm gonna enjoy every last minute with this thing. What? <laughs> what are you doing? The papers. The papers. Hey, the papers. I got it. I got it. Oh, dude. Are they flying? Yeah. Right now, bro. It's okay. Hey, Coda. There goes the title. Why is it vibrating like that? Because 1970. Does it always do that? It turns off after a certain miles per hour. Why do you hate this car so much, Coda? I don't hate it. It's just useless. Yeah, it's useless. How do you want if you want a best? Last look at the Hako. Why do you look so big? <laughs> it came through with this sick trailer. I think this thing goes on the ground. No, it has, it's on cables, dog. It drops, it's not back, so. It has a cable system to where it pretty much, I, I'm gonna buy one of those, it's like eight bands. Like. So you can load this on with no ramps, nothing? No, it's just gonna lay Straight floor, up. it's gonna lay floor. It's a Futura trailer, they're based out of LA. Yeah, let me pull up closer to him. What's up? How you doing, man? Yeah. You vlogging too? Yeah. Hey. Right now. Nice to meet you, man. What's hey, your name? Miguel. Miguel, Josh. Yeah, I'm making a video, you wanna be on the video? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's hey, up, what's boys? Up, man? Nice to meet you. Nice, nice to meet you. There she is. You guys can check her out. See what she gotta do. Been this guy's been looking at these. Yeah, I was worried. I was like, dang, how am I gonna put this thing up on a trailer? I didn't bring wood. This is the show car one. Uh, yeah, this thing is amazing. This thing glazed frame. Not on air, it's on cables. That's too cool, Hako. Yeah, way too cool. Perfect match for the Hako. <laughs> All right, it's official. Yeah, we're gonna turn around because the, the car's a little bit too low. All the way up there? No, we're probably just gonna go right here. Bittersweet, man. It's going to a good home, though. These guys collect a bunch of gems, so be sure to check them out. We'll tag your Instagram so they can check out your uh, video and stuff. I'll be posting my video soon this week. Perfect, man. A few more stuff, a few more goodies. All the collection, you guys gotta see it. Yeah, they got some good stuff, guys. I don't know if I want to sit around and wait till it leaves I'm kind of sad ah is this the thumbnail <laughs> nice meeting all you boys all right guys see you later all right buddy see you later enjoy yeah okay boss nice meeting you take care bye Hako you'll be missed Hey guys!
I'm sad, but I'm not sad. I'm actually kind of. You're I'm kind of happy. happy. I'm pretty happy. I'm not gonna lie. For what it I is, and it. it sitting out at the land is not worth me having. These people are really gonna enjoy that car. Like the dad has a Datsun 510. The other son has a Datsun 510 wagon. The other son has a Datsun 510. So and they have a Supra. They have two MK4 Supras, and they have like a bunch of stuff. So they're gonna enjoy the car. They're gonna take care of the car. That's all I wanted for the Hako. Uh, Oh, oh, oh.